all right people welcome back to another video of returnal where we left off before we finally completed all three rooms uh thank god we got through all of that that was that was horrible uh so now we're in front of this room and uh we gotta make our way in i imagine we're probably gonna see a boss fight or something um what is this Looks like it's some kind of item to, to pick up. The technology from the gods. <gasps> then I must accept the burden. <sighs> Oh, I bet you now we can go in the water now. This allows me to go deeper. Yep. Yeah, underwater areas. Your suit now can withstand underwater areas. Huh. Well, well what a suffocating embrace. It welcomes me into its arms. She's so dramatic. Uh, <laughs> well, what about the fire stuff? What about the, the lakes of fires that we see? Like, how are we supposed to cross that? I don't know. Um, what else am I supposed to do in this room? It's like a contraption over here or something. Am I supposed to shoot these out? Man, I'm, I was expecting a boss fight. I'm not seeing anything. Um. Hmm. There's no way to go up. It looks like there's a container above us, but I don't know how to... I don't know how we're supposed to get up there to get it. Am I supposed to jump up something and make my way up? That that won't come down. Uh, I don't know. Let's look at the map. All right, I see the container on the map. Kind of gives me an indication that I, I need to go up, but I don't really... All right, let's just uh, let's head up here. Maybe there's a way up there from up here. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, okay. I guess we need to go down here. The deepest of the deep. Whoa, this is a whole nother. So wait a minute, is this another biome? Yeah, it is. So so biome five. Looking at the map. Volume 5 didn't have a boss? Wow. I thought there was going to be a boss. I thought it was like six of them. Alright, I'll pick this up. Get this xenoglyph. Hmm. Alright. Well, I guess they gave us a break this time. Surprisingly. Damn, my uh, proficiency jumped up. I'm at 24 now. Alright. I, recognize all of this. I don't. And so I know what awaits at the bottom. What's at the bottom? Oh, shit, what is this? Whatever they are, they're, they're pretty easy to kill. Damn, that's a lot of them. Damn, they just keep coming out. Oh, wait. There's something... It looks like something is generating them. I gotta kill them. I gotta kill whatever is creating them. Let's see if I can do that. I think that's it. There's some life down there. Let's see if I can get that.
Alright, how am I supposed to get back up there? Okay. Whoa! What the fuck? Uh, nah, I'm gonna keep, uh, I'm gonna keep the hollow seeker. It's another one of them little squid things trying to, trying to roll up on me. Let's see what's back here. Oh, that's ether. Every time I, I see the word ether, I always think of Nas, the rapper Nas. Or he made that, uh, that infamous... Uh, this track. Man. So, I... I'm guessing it's another... Uh, sea creature that's... Damn, it's one of them... Whoa! It's one of those spheres, but this time it's like... Shooting lasers. Damn, that thing got some reach. All right, I gotta take this thing down. All right, I think I got it. All right, let me get some of this health. We good, we good, we good. So far, so good. Get some more ether. They're giving us a lot of ether. I mean, it's just laying around everywhere. We're at like 13 ethers now. You thought I didn't see you, did you? Let me get this money. My health is pretty decent. I'm going to avoid picking up uh, damage that could inflict me. Or, you know, malignant, uh, malignant resin. Um, it's, it's a couple of more of those floaty things around the corner. I'm trying to bait them out so I can kill them. Because I don't want to jump over there and then they just come out of nowhere. Um, I'm trying to see. Okay, so there's a... There's a doorway over there on the left that I need to get to, so I gotta time my jump. Whoa! Get this money. Oh, what is this? Resin, probably. Who knows? I just had to get out of the way because I didn't want to. I didn't want to get hit. Handgun. No, thank you. No, thank you. All right, let's we'll make our way back over there and time this. I suck at uh, platform booby jumps and stuff like that. Booby trap jumps. My timing is always off. Ah, oh, shits. All right, uh, I gotta kill this, this thing that's protecting them. Where is it at? Oh, there it is. All right, there we go. All right, there's a lot of enemies cooking up. We're going to take care of this first. Ah, shit! All right, that, that got taken care of. It's a lot of them float things. Shit! Damn! They everywhere. All right, take this sphere down. Oh my God. You can't concentrate on the bigger enemies because of the, the floaty, the f shit. The floaty, uh, whatever the hell those things are, they keep bomb rushing me. Dude, you know what? I'm getting tired of these damn uh, squid things. Oh my god.
Alright, get some of this health. Oh, now you're gonna leave. When I have a beam on you. Alright, you should be dead, bro. Alright. Did I kill everybody? I think I did. Wait, there's something else over there. There's some more over here. There's something else over there cooking. Alright, got it. Alright, I think I finally got everybody. Yo, man. Man, it took both of my vials. What is this? Ooh, another hollow secret. This one's got a beam. Uh, and it's 24. I think I, yeah, I think I should take that. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. I need health. Alright, that didn't harm me. It's a good thing. Uh, I'm beeping. Let me see. Let me go in here and see if I can find some health. Um. Hmm. I guess I need to jump over there. I gotta time it though. Ah, oh, shit! I do. I don't. I don't know why I did that. I thought I had jumped, but apparently I didn't. All right. It didn't look like it took off too much of my health though, so I'm still good. Sorry. Right, I'm practicing how high I can get up. All right. What's in here? Uh, no, nah, I'm gonna keep this hollow seeker. It's got a beam on it. Am I supposed to be able to make that? Only one way to find out, I guess. YOLO! Oh, let's see. I got two keys, so let me go in here. There might be something worthwhile in here. Yes, that's exactly what I needed. Health. And I got a uh, another vial, so I'm I'm Gucci now. I'm good now. Ooh, damn! There's some health up there too. But how do I get up there? Am I supposed to jump over there too? Uh, let me see if I can make this. I don't think I can though, but I'm gonna try. Nope, I can't. Guys, uh, I tried to, I tried to adjust at the last minute. I don't know how you're supposed to make that that jump. That's crazy. Maybe it's something that we're supposed to get later on that allows us to go up there. All right, what's in here? Increase protection. Disappear one second faster. I'll take that. Man, that's nice. Man, having that uh parasite that heals you as you're taking another parasite is really good. I'm so glad I got that thing. Alright. Um, I'm still wondering how am I supposed to get up there? Like, are you supposed to jump from here? And then, well, that's way too far. There's no way I can make that. I don't know, man. I think, I think I'm missing something. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm in good standing. I can find some health other places. I don't need that one. All 
Man, it just sucks when you walk away from health, though, because it's like health is so crucial in this game. Uh, oh, there's a xenoglyph. Alright. What's up here? Nothing? Alright, which way am I supposed to go? Okay. I'm just looking at the whole entire map just to kind of get a layout of where we're supposed to go. There was no, uh... There's no objective. I don't see any objective anywhere. I mean, I guess the only place we can go is through that door to the right. So... I guess that's the next spot that we'll go to. But it's just weird that they don't have an ob objective. It just says sink into the depths. Whatever that means. Alright, let's go through here. I feel like something about to pop out. Yep, sure enough. Ah, oh, shit. I was about to fall. Whoa, get away from me. Man, there's some more of these squiggly things. God damn you, squiggly. Some stupid squigglies. All right, there we go. Took care of him. All right, I got a key, but should I open that? I don't think I'm going to open that. There might be a door or something later on that I'll, I'll be able to use. Because, man, the way I'm looking at it, like, most of these containers are just guns that you don't even want. You know? Like, once you get to a place where you got a decent gun, a lot of times I don't feel the need to swap. You know? And it's, and it's not worth malignants and keys to try to open gun, uh, containers that's just going to give you a gun you're not going to take. Oh, shit. Alright, I got to swap. I got to hit that one. Let me finish this one over here first. Alright, got him. Oh, shit. Oh, man, it beamed. Put the beam on them. I put the beam on y'all motherfuckers. I said I put the beam on y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> Go ahead, beam. Cook them. I wish the beam could tear tear up that uh that shield. So I don't have to go over there. But I got to. Oh, come on. Oh, I, was, I still fail. Did I fall? Yeah, I fell. Uh -huh. oh, I still fail. Ah, oh, I hate that, man. I hate when I lose life when I fall. They should give you a grace period for falling, man. I should give you at least like one or two falls per per room. You know? I mean with this game is so hard to 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 fight against these enemies. You know, it just doesn't make sense that you take off health for falling. I mean I've seen this character fall from like eight hundred feet in the sky. Like how how does it make sense now that this enemy this character now uh, loses life when it when it falls? Uh, I want to get this health, but I am I suck so bad when it comes to these booby traps. 
I, I am so bad at it. I'm worried that uh, if I go down there, I'm going to lose life. I'm contemplating. Maybe if I, if I could just get one so I can get a full full stack stack of health. Maybe that would be enough. Oh, shit. I got it and I failed. See, see what I'm saying? I lost my health trying to get the damn thing. Fuck it. No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it, dude. It's not worth it. I get, I, you gotta know when to fold them, as Kenny Rogers says. You gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Uh, nah. That's not worth it. I will take this ether, though. There's an enemy around here somewhere. See how they be playing games? Like the other room that I was in, right? I don't remember which one it was. It was some enemy. It was one of, like, flying machines. Dread Brown. Oh, that's the one that where you don't have to reload, but you got to be pretty pretty close on the enemy to, to get it to work. But yeah, there was another room where like one of those uh, floating things was around and it was just hanging out. And then as I was exploring the room, he just popped out of nowhere and started attacking me. This game does that a lot. So you got to be careful when it get quiet like that. You gotta check your map at the bottom right to see if there's still some enemies there. Cause see, I can still see an enemy over here. He around here somewhere. Yeah, he around here somewhere. Watch when I jump over there, he's gonna come out. Where you at? I know you're around here, asshole. Alright, let's see what's in here. Yes, more health. I'm glad I didn't use that container. That container would have been a, a waste. Ooh, and I got a figurine too? Man, look at you. Look at you. See? Don't waste your money and your ethers on containers. They never have anything good in them, man. I mean, sometimes they do if you got like a really weak gun and you're looking to replace it. But if you got a strong gun, you got a decent gun, don't waste your money on those doggone containers. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your keys. Because, it, man, you're going to come up short every single time. Use them for the doors. The doors got, the, got this good shit in it. Oh, he must be on the other side. I thought he was in here. Watch, he come out. There he is. There he is. There he is. Got him. No, we good. We good, Bean. Chill. Chill. We got him. All right. Wait a minute. I think there's somebody else over there. But oh, they on the other side, though. I'm going to take my time. Make my way over there. There he is. There you go. You got to... Oh, shit. There's an eye. Wait for that eye to move. Maybe I can shoot it, shoot the eye out. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna just book it. All right, where are we at? Ooh. Oh yeah, it's one of those things you gotta make a quick decision before you lose the opportunity. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna book it to the left. All right. I like my options. Oh, shit, I meant to scan it. Nice. Uh, okay, the other ones were up there, so I had to choose one. I like I like the option that we chose, because there was a container over there. I doubt that container had anything good in it. All right, so that was a good look. What's, what's down here? Oh, damn, there's money over there. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to get over there. I'm not going to tr try it. 
I've been falling all over this map. Okay, there's another another sphere. Damn, it's another it, Damn, it's three of them. Yeah, go ahead and get them, Bing. Get him, Bing. Ah, shit. There you go. Hand him my lightweight. Man, that beam is so nice, dog. I'm never letting this gun go. I'm never letting this gun go. So help me God. This gun, I'm a bury me with this gun, please. Uh, should I try that? Why not? What's in here? I'm gonna just peek my head in. Just, you know what? Should I try it? Cause I would hate to go in and then lose, lose life. Uh, where am I supposed to go though? I, okay, it's not in there. It's not in the portal. There's another room over there. Should I try this? I'm gonna just stick my head in. Oh, hell no. Yeah, there's some booby traps. You can see we got some money. It ain't worth it. <laughs> it's just money. I got enough money as is. My, my goal when I play through is to get about anywhere between uh, 300 to 500 coins. If I get 300 to 500, I can probably get at least two items from the shop. Because you know you're going to roll up on the shop eventually, right? Like as you're playing this this uh, this biome, you're going you're gonna to run up on a shop. And that's when you're going to do your re-up. Before you get closer to the boss. The boss. The shop really a lot of times is like halfway through the biome. So you just want to get enough to kind of last you through the second half of the biome. So when you get to the boss, you'll have enough to, uh, to go off of. And so right now we got to... Um, Right now, we're in really good shape. Uh, we have 14 ether, which is good. We got a figurine. And we got 440 obelites. So, I would like to... Oh, shit! What the fuck? Where the hell did you come from? See, that's the shit I'm talking about. But anyway, I would like to get to probably like somewhere around 500... Cause then that that means I can I'm almost guaranteed to get at least two items from the shop, and that'll be good, you know, maybe like a large health. Or oh damn, there they go, they over there. Man, these things just come out of nowhere, man. They scare the shit out of you. Yeah, get at least two items or whatever from the shop, like a large health pack. And possibly, uh, yeah, they're coming out now. And probably another uh, medium integrity vial uh, thing or whatever. Where are they coming from? What's the source? Is that everybody? Oh shit. Oh okay, that's just a booby trap. Alright. Um damn there's another one floating up here somewhere. Or is that the booby trap? Nah, he moving. Shit. Alright, where do I need to go? Alright, there's a there's a optional room over there. Um, and there's the way out. I don't know if I'm going to bother with the optional room because I don't want to gamble on what little health I got. You know what I mean? Trying to get to an optional room. 
headlight staring back. I dive deeper. So far down, it's impossible to see the sun. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so there's the objective. And then there's an alternate route. The alternate route has an optional room. Let's try to see if we can go to the optional room. Alright, there's something up there. Like, where else am I supposed to go? Oh, I see. I gotta go around. Shit. I was trying to do a shortcut, but no, nah, it's not going to let me do that. Okay, so I got to go around that and make my way over there, there to the other side. So let me wait. Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. Come on. Alright, so what's... What's down here? Am I supposed to go all the way down there? I don't know, man. That, that seems... Seems far away from the beaten path, so I'm not going to go down there. I will go to this, though. Yeah, that, that's that's cool. I don't feel like it was worth the trip to come over here. I should have just stayed on the beaten path. But you never know. You know, it could have been something good over here. So uh, we tried it. So now we know. Alright, uh, let's make our way back over here. Should I try this chest? This container? Why not? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna swap. I'll swap that with the, the one we got over the other container. Damn, will it let me swap? Huh. Let's see. There we go. Alright. Was some doing something weird just now. Alright. Oh god. We gotta time this. I shouldn't have came over here. It's evident now I shouldn't have came over here. This is really not worth the trip. Alright. Alright, so- OH SHIT! Some ether. Alright. Alright, we got hit once. I would have preferred not to get hit at all, but at least once is okay. Uh, going this way. So what's over here? Um, I guess we jump across. Man, 
man, as soon as we jump down here, there's some bullshit coming out. I know it already. Oh, what's that over here? That dude over there just sleeping. He's taking a nap. Is this a boss? Oh, that's a new type of gun. Nah, bruh. This ain't got no beam. I can't mess with you. You ain't got no beam, dawg. I gotta keep beamy on me. Beamy man. Hey, what's up? Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus. Damn. Man, it took off a lot of health. God, Jesus. Yo. That thing took off so much of my health. Wrong gland. Nah, I'm good. I will take that key, though. Man, it's so crazy how these enemies just be taking off, like, loads of your health when you, when you fight them. I need to get some more health, man. Because this, this ain't good. I mean, we're still in green, but if they fighting like this, we ain't gonna last. The sleeper of the deep ascends in dangerous dreams. It offered the hive mind answers, but severed them instead. It offered the severed godhood, but crippled them instead. But it has not yet offered me anything. Why does it remain silent? After everything, am I still unworthy? I had to jump back just in case some enemies popped out. Um, damn, should I swap that? Um, yeah, I'll do that. Because whenever I try to use that little dome thing, it's always like when enemies are within like your small radius. I've never successfully converted enemies into obelites. Should I try this? I got one malignant already. One malfunction, I meant to say. Now I got two. Shit, it was not worth it. Because that's the exact same thing I just gave up not too long ago. And now fall. Uh, see, this is what I'm talking about. I should listen to my own advice. Never gamble with the containers. Never gamble with the containers. It's not worth it. Uh, Alright, this looks like another artifact or item to pick up. You can now see the luminous orbs. Shoot them to reveal hidden platforms. All right. Man, she be talking like uh, she wanted them or something. Oh, shit. That's one thing I noticed that. Like, she be talking like, I accept this sacrifice. He ain't sacrificed nothing. He dead. Dead. Don't sacrifice. Hmm. All right. So I guess uh, I guess it stays up. I was thinking maybe I had to shoot it again to keep it from going away, but it looks like it stays up. Uh. There's another platform.
Uh, some money over here. And a booby trap. Wait, didn't we just go back to this? Huh. I feel like we just went in circles. So where are we supposed I guess we're going forward, back where we came from. And then jumping across to go to the other side. Um, so I need to turn around and go back to where I came from, I guess. Um, yeah. I'm trying to figure out how do I make it across when I get over there on the other side. I don't see any way to get across to the other piece of land. Maybe I'm supposed to use that, uh, the new little orb thing that I got. Where you shoot the orbs. Oh shit. Yeah, that, that looks like what I need to do. Let me get this scout log. Yeah, that woman that went lost her damn mind, dog. I feel like she's possessed with something. I don't know what she possessed with, but she possessed with something. All right, I, the most logical thing to do is to get this, I guess. Uh, I gotta replace one of my items, though. I can't carry but three. Uh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. So that's residual sphere. Where is my protection? My protection is at 25%, which is actually pretty decent. Uh, I want to keep the alt fire cooldown for the boss fight, so I'm going to replace the sphere. Not the sphere, uh, whatever the thing is where they tell it to drop resin. Because dropping resin doesn't mean you're going to increase your health. It just means you expand your uh, health capabilities. And then sometimes it'll increase health, but it won't increase it at the volume that like a, a consumable health pack will. So let's see, where do I need to go? So yet again, they've taken the objective off the off the map. So now you gotta kind of like guess on where to go. It says it keeps saying sink into the depths. So I, I'm thinking we need to jump down there. Um, I would hate to be wrong, and then lose a lot of my health. But. Seems like to me that's the only place we can go. Going down has been the call for the last couple of couple of um, times. So I'm guessing this is the right call. All right. But damn, I won't be able to get back up there if I needed to. So this is it. 
you know once you go down there you, that's it you can't go back up to the shop which sucks is there a way to go back up from here though like back up from uh, to the top or where we came in because it would be nice to be able to come back and get that uh that consumable that I, I swapped out because I mean it's not a bad consumable it's just that this one I can see is a more direct benefit than uh, the one I left doesn't look like we can come back up hmm okay all right well we can't go back up it's too high nothing to do but to go down let's do it oh come on All right. Ah, oh, damn. I didn't get. <laughs> I got that bomb thing. I guess they say you got a beam, so you should be good. To God damn! Where the fuck you come from? Uh, what the fuck? Where did you come from? That's crazy. Oh man, I forgot already. Yo! Come on, dog! Man, that's the only thing that sucks about this gun. It doesn't have a good alt fire. And I used all of my health, man. I had to. I got hit twice by that dude. Man, I don't want that. I want fucking... Oh, my God. Yo. That thing whooped my ass. That's crazy, man. Let me get this ether. There's some money over there. No, it's a challenge. I ain't going to that shit. Hell no. Especially if it's got that enemy that we just finished messing with. Uh, let's try it. All right, cool. I, I went ahead and used the ether for that one though. Just to be on the safe side. Cause I feel like I'm getting closer to the to the boss, and I don't want to waste I don't want to waste uh, health unnecessarily. Ooh, damn! Oh, that's a large. Damn, that would extend me though. Ah, uh, nah, nah, I'm good. Pause. By the way, I, I said it would extend me. Um, oh man, man, I st I'm still mad I used all my, my health resources. I, I had just got them. I had just got them. Is there, is there nothing over there? All right, I don't, I don't see any of any other thing I can use. So, let's just head out. Alright, so there's an optional room over there. Usually optional rooms have 
uh, resources you can pick up. So let's try to make our way over there. Or should I try to do that? Because if I do that, I'm probably going to run into some enemies. More, more or less. I definitely know I'm not going to that challenge. But there's the boss door right there. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm debating. I should probably just go straight to the... Yeah, let's go straight to the... To the boss. Uh, how do I get over there? Let me get the Xenoglyph also. Oh, I gotta hit that. Okay. Alright, let's just go straight to the boss. And be done with this. Because if I, I mess around... Because, I mean, either way, even if I die... What about prep time and recovery? I, I'm in the middle of a lot right now, so... No, 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 it's... I, I wouldn't want anyone present. No one can know about this. Everyone is overbearing and controlling and... I haven't even told a single person about... If they found out I was here that, that we were talking... Huh. I wonder what is she... Was she seeing like a therapist or something? Or... All right, let's go to this boss. Cause he, what the? F ah. You gotta get a key. So I'm guessing it's back where we were before. That's where the key is. Uh, yep. It's telling me to go where I was trying to avoid. So we still got to go that way anyway. I'm just shooting this to make sure that the platform stays up. I don't trust this platform. So what I was going to say was, even if even if we uh, even if we die at the boss, we still can. A lot of times the biomes give you a way to fast travel to the boss. So even if we die, we still are good. Oh my god. Alright, we took care of that pretty fast. Alright, what's up here? Nah, I'm good. Ooh. Uh, let's see what's in here. I feel like this is a trap. I'm not going to mess with it. As soon as I walk in, there's probably some enemy that's going to jump in out, jump in out of nowhere. So let's see. This game have you paranoid a lot of times. Like you feel like, oh, this is a good thing. I feel more confident going into that blue room than I do going into uh, those portals. Because in the portals, I got screwed over in the past. Ah, oh, shit. There's another one of those things that be birthed in squigglies. See? There you go. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Beam, where would I be without you? Okay, I think I, I hit that too late. I should have I should have hit that when he died. I wasn't thinking about it. Now I'm in the red. Uh go ahead and gamble. Get this health up here. Let's 
something is better than nothing. Alright, now let's uh, make my way to... to this uh, optional room. Come on, be something good. Oh, a reconstructor. It's not what I was hoping for, but it would be a good look to be able to come back if I die, because I'm, I'm at a very low vo health volume right now. And uh, I definitely can see myself dying in the next couple of minutes. What's, what's striking me out is the enemies that uh that have that that long reach where they swipe and hit you it's not so much the fact that i'm getting hit by it, it's by how much health it's taken off every time it takes off like almost half of my life over half of my life actually doesn't really give you that many opportunities to screw up and Beam is taking care of them for the most part, but I just, I don't know. It's just not enough. Not enough. I feel like that's all this game is trying to show me. It's like your game skills is not enough. Every time I think I'm doing good, this game just shows me, nah, you ain't doing shit. <laughs> there we go. There we go with this. Oh my god. Oh my god. See, this is what sucks. I got all this money and I can't go back. Oh shit, another all fire. I hope there's no enemies inside this room. I hope that. Oh shit! Whoop! Nope! Man, come on! Is this? Oh my god! All right, figurine kicked in. Damn! I forgot about that weak ass all fire. Oh man! Oh jeez, Louise! I didn't didn't I say I was gonna have to use this? I mean, it's better I use it this now than it would be for the boss because if I use it for the boss, it's not gonna help me because I'm gonna have to start all over again. All right, damn, did, did it show me the, the boss from over here? Is he outside? He can't be outside because I, I died inside. I don't see him on the mini-map. All right, let's try this again. Oh shit! Oh my god! I thought it, I thought the platform was right behind me. All right, let's let's get out. Let's get get far back as we can. Is he coming out? Oh shit! He's right there. Oh my god! Come on, help me, Bean! Help me, help me, help me. Oh, jeez. All 
All right, we back. We back, and we're about to deal with the boss again. Uh, okay, let's try this again. Well, he's not a boss, but he might as well be with how hard he is to kill. All right. Take care of this this asshole before we go up there. Oh my god. Come on. Die. Yes. Okay. Another one of those squiggly things. All right. I got him. I got him. All right. So we back it around at the same area that we were before. We're about to go up to that room to get the key. And uh We still have a hollow seeker. We we were able to get it on uh this you know, the following um uh, damn how many are there? Oh shit, they way over there. I gotta, I gotta go over there and kill the, uh, the mama. Cause if I don't kill them, they'll just keep coming out. Oh man, come on. All right, one at a time. Y'all come out here. Boom, got him. Got him. I think I think Beam Beam got the rest of them. Oh wait, there's one more over there. Ah oh, shit! Come on, dog. Oh, thank God. Ooh, man, I was lucky with that one. I'm trying to see if I can get this uh, squiggly thing before I can... Because I don't want to start looking around and then he come out of nowhere. And then I, I get attacked and take off some health. Alright. I guess as long as I stay over here, I'm, I'm pretty decent. I don't see him anywhere though. I think he's underneath the platform, it looks like. Alright, let me get this ether. Alright, but be careful. Because he might fly up from under that platform anytime. Did he hear that? If he did, he didn't he didn't respond. Oh shit, there he is. Oh come on. Oh thank god. Man, come on. This game got me paranoid, man. See, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, you got to watch that mini-map, man. Because sometimes them little enemies, they just be sitting there, like, in the dormant, waiting for you. Waiting for you to fuck up. As soon as I was starting to pick up something, that's when he jumped his ass out. All right. So as soon as we get up here, a whole shit ton of enemies are going to come out. And we got to take care of them once we get onto the the square platform. If I remember correctly. All right. There we go. Go ahead and bring out Bing. 
me back up so I can get these guys one at a time. And this time we actually have a better uh, a better alt fire. I think that's what I was missing the last time. Is a better alt fire because every time I shot my alt fire, it was like a little bomb or whatever. A bomb thing that whenever an enemy come near it, it'll explode. That wasn't doing anything, man. That wasn't doing anything. I needed some actual firepower. But this one has a beam and it actually has firepower with the alt fire. So I think we're in better shape than we were before. This one's got a grenade, as you can see at the bottom. Damn, there's another one around here somewhere. Where you at? All right, I think I got him. I think I, ac I think I accidentally got him. Whoa. Okay. All right. I actually saw some people come into this room, and this guy wasn't there. Which I'm wondering, like, why the hell do I have to fight him? Nobody else is fighting him. Right? Well, other people aren't fighting him, I should say. Like, they actually walked in the room, and the guy wasn't there. I keep my distance. Come on, Bean. Come on, come on, get him. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I'm losing life because of these falls. But it's better than getting hit, though. Because that, that hit is demonstrous. All right, where is he at now? There he is. Oh, my God. I don't have any health. Alright, I got a reconstructor with this one as well. This this cycle as well. FYI. So we'll use this to go back to him. This one's a little bit further than we were before. So we're gonna have to do some traveling to get back to him. Alright, which way do we go? Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a ways. But luckily, I've taken care of all the enemies. So I don't have to worry about fighting them again. So it should be a clear shot back to where we were before. Alright. Um, making sure I'm going the right direction. Shoot these eyes out. Head on over here. Man, I cannot believe I ended up dying. The same way I did last time and then come back with a reconstructor that's consistency you know we got the same gun and everything uh, yeah but like I said I took care of all these enemies so it's just really a matter of just getting back to where we were Let me see what's in this container. I doubt it's anything good comparable to what I already have. That's a good gun, but I, I'm sticking with this this beam. I think I'm gonna stick with the beam. The reason why I like to stick with the beam because I'm so close to the boss, and I feel like if I use that other gun. Should I pick that up? Nah, it's not worth it. Because I'm not even going to be near any... Uh... Yeah, I don't think that's... 
I'm gonna have to risk uh, getting a, a malfunction. Ooh, that's a hollow seeker, but it doesn't have the portal beam though. And the bonus damage is not as high. Yeah, it's not worth the swap. There's a challenge room, which we will not be going to. Um, making sure we're heading in the right direction. Yeah. Because I think this is where... I think this is where the shop is going to be at. We may be able to pick up something from the shop as well. Man, I thought I shot your eye out. There we go. Yeah, get him, Bing. Yeah, this is the shop. Alright. Let me check the shop out real quick. I pretty much bought just damn near everything. I might as well get this. That'll help me out. So now we got everything. The shop is closed. It kind of sucks that they don't re reload with new stuff, you know? But uh, I guess that's how they designed the game. So it is what it is. And also, I took care of this. Fun fact, I was debating on just running through this without taking care of this. But then I remember that Reconstructor was so far back that I was like, nah, let me go ahead and take care of these enemies down here when you come from the shop. Because if I come back with the Reconstructor, they're going to take my health off and it's going to make it even harder to fight the boss or fight whatever thing to kill me. So yeah, I took care of those. So now we're at full two bars. So I think we should be able to take care of this thing as is. I don't think we need a new weapon. I would have liked for a health pack, but not for this enemy that we're about to deal with, but for the boss, you know? Because we still haven't gone to the boss. I still haven't seen the boss yet. Um, ooh, there's a, there's something over here. Nah, I'm not getting that. I think there's some, uh, calibrator proficiency. All right, that'll help some, I guess. We're at level 28 right now. That's pretty high. I wish that the... Proficiency meant something in regard to like now because it seems like it's only meant to help what what type of weapon you get you know but once you get a decent weapon you really don't need to swap alright let's see if he's still out here I don't see him on the mini map I don't see him out here is he this game is really good about permanent uh, resonance. Meaning, things are the way you left them, you know? So if you left that enemy outside, he's still outside. Regardless of the fact that you reconstructed or not. I don't see him though. I'm trying to get him to come back this way and try to take him out as he's trying to make his way over here. But I don't see him. Alright, maybe I need to go a little bit further. Uh, shit, let's be careful. There he is! There he is on the right. 
All right, there he is on the right. Get him, Bean. <laughs> Get him, Bean. <laughs> oh, shit. He's shooting at me. All right, let's go back this way. All right, I think we got him this time. Yes! Thank you, Bean. Thank you. What is that? I don't want it. I want that key, though. Alright, I, I know I keep shooting these little orb things, but I do not trust these platforms, dog. All the times that I've fallen from this game, I'm like, I don't I don't need to fall anymore. Is his eye still open? Alright. Kinda hard to tell with the lighting. All right, let me go in here and get this beam. Uh, not beam, uh, key. Sorry. Jeez Louise. It's been a long time coming, but we finally got it. And we still got two, two good bars. The jet black skull behind the visor of the astronaut. I recognize parts of myself within those shadows fighting to be free. If it can show the world one face, then another. Have I met it before? What was the name that sat on its head? Was it the first one who said, Do you see the white shadow? Hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't know what the hell is going on with this story. I thought I understood what was going on, but I don't. Like, I, what I know thus far is that... Her mother died, and she survived the crash. She always wanted to be an astronaut, and there's some kind of figure or, no, or something that's been haunting her and her mother all of her life. Um, I don't know if that figure, astronaut, astronaut figure damn I shouldn't have got that I shouldn't have got that something told me not to get that and I got it anyway oh well I don't know if this astronaut figure that's kind of been in her life is either her father or not I kind of feel like it is her father I don't know that would make sense to me but I'm not sure but whatever it is, it's, it's haunting her to the point where she feels a, se a severe amount of like anxiety and depression. I feel like, I still feel like this is all related to some mental issue that she has. Uh, even though there's no signs in the story that says that she's mentally depressed other than the prescription medication that she was taking and I remember when she saw that prescription pill on the desk she was like I haven't taken these in years and I was like uh oh anytime you hear a character say I haven't taken these in years that means something going on with, they, with their mind you know something going on with them mentally you know because a lot of times it means that they should be taking them um i don't know and it's like it's a little sound bites and sound clips of things that i've seen so far suggest that this might be like uh her having some kind of like mental relapse you know but the game doesn't come out straightforward with like answers it just it just gives you more and more questions. All right, which way are we going? Okay, we got to go to the right to get to the boss.
Hmm, I guess I gotta get closer. There we go. Oh, I guess I, I can just jump over here. I thought it, I thought it was another platform that was supposed to come up. Alright, two full bars. And we're off to see the boss. Let me look around a bit, make sure there isn't anything I'm supposed to pick up. Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's open this door. As the music intensifies. Always giving you a handgun. What a handgun supposed to do? Alright, so the objective says I need to go down. 10% weapon damage. Alt fire negative 2. Proficiency weight are 100. Uh, we could be in better shape, but it is what it is. Let's do it. Oh shit, I thought that was the end of it. I'm about to take damage. Yep. I thought I dashed at the right point, but no, I didn't. What the hell? This is, this is wild. Alright, I guess we're shooting the right spot because the health is going down. I'm going to just keep shooting him. Oh, shit. I'm just shooting there. Uh, just trying to stay focused. Trying not to get hit because I don't really have that many uh, retries or health. Uh, why is the health not going down? What's going on? Damn. He just took that bomb like it wasn't nothing. Oh shit, let me avoid these beams. Shit. Alright. Alright, now the health is going back down. Oh, come on. Come on, bruh. Oh, jeez. Alright, we only got a little bit left to take the first phase. Alright, let's keep shooting. Keep shooting. Let's avoid the beams. Oh, my God. Yo. Why is it... Why is the health still... Why is this... Am I hitting the wrong thing? Oh, 
color. Am I supposed to hit his head? I'm gonna hit his head. What is going on right now? I'm not doing much of anything as far as his health. Is he supposed to be like super armored at the end of the... Okay, that, that did it. All right. Ooh, he dropped health too. Damn, he got some big ass hands. Pause. Oh, man. Oh, shit. I, I forgot I can't phase through that. All right, I gotta focus on trying to avoid these beams. Oh, Jesus, come on. I think I think these blue these blue uh, beams they're gonna help you get to his health. I guess I'm, I haven't figured out ex exactly how, but shit, it's so much stuff going on. It's hard to try to figure out how to get to him. All right, I'm back. We're back at the boss. We're gonna continue moving forward I went back and looked at the video of me dying and I figured out I need to hit the blue spheres to expose uh, little areas on his chest or whatever to kill him I got a lot less health than I did before like as far as like integrity but I do have one health back I crossed light years of anguish my answer is beneath you. Give it to me. So, yeah. Now that I know what I did wrong, I think, uh, I think this fight is going to be a lot, a lot better to get through. And I also got Beam with me. You, I told y'all, man. I'm not giving up this damn gun. I'm going to die with this gun. Me and, me and Beam for life. Oh, shit. All right, phase one down. See, it's, it's so much easier to take him down phase one now that I know how to... Uh, take his health off before I was shooting everywhere man I was shooting on the head I was shooting on his his chest and nothing was happening but now now I know you got to get those those spheres to get the the uh, tentacles or whatever those red things are exposed so now that I figure that part out we golden yes sir I'm going to focus on the blue. You focus on the red. Oh, man. I love you, Bing. I love you, Bing. Phase two. Hey, we got health. I'll take it. Go ahead. Get him, Bing. Like we're gonna do this. I'm feeling like we're gonna do this, Bing. I feel like we're gonna do this. 
All right, I, mi I missed that overload. It's all good though. Ah shit, I got hit. It's all good. Oh my goodness. He throwing all kind of shit at us. Man, he throwing all kind of stuff at us. Get this health. Nah, bruh, we good. Yeah, me. Yes, me. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. That is so awesome. This was a fun fight. This is a really fun fight. Man, I guess I'm supposed to go down there. I will go there now. As you will. You know what? There was a little icon up at the top. Maybe I should have went up over there. I didn't notice it until after I dropped down. Alright, so what's going on down here? going on with this car can't seem to get inside it that's the car that probably fell off the bridge with her and her mom man I hope this this is not another boss fight I mean I think we can take whoever's coming but uh, I hope it's not Are you the one who brought me here? Is this what you wanted me to see? Damn, don't tell me they're gonna put us back at the beginning of the game. Oh wait, this is longer than a a return. It's a cutscene. Hey, the octopus thing. Why the hell would her? Why would she ask that question? That looks like Celine. That doesn't look like 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 her mom. It looks like Celine. Whoa! Shit! Wow.
Go, go and get your child. What the hell? Wow, that was weird. Oh shit, this is the end of the game. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Well, we finally did it, you guys. We finally beat this game. I don't think I know more about the story than I did before I started. Um, I mean, well, I do. I do know more, but I'm, I'm just as confused as what I started. At first, I thought it was her mom and her driving along and fell off the bridge, but now it looks like it was her and her daughter that fell off the bridge. And the mom survived. And the daughter was underneath the water. Um, something pulled her out. Maybe in her mind, she rationalized it was some kind of alien. When in fact it was probably like, I don't know, some rescue team or something like that. Um, I don't know anything about the white shadow. The kid was asking about a white shadow. I don't know what the white shadow could be. Um, man, this, this game story is just like really confusing. Um... I don't want to throw my theory out of the water yet, no pun intended, as as far as it being like grief and depression, because that would make somebody very depressed to have survived a crash like that and then realize that your, your child died. Um, I can only imagine the amount of grief a person would have to go through to deal with something like that. Um, I think that's I think that's essentially what this is. I think this is her mental breakdown, her trying to rationalize everything that happened with that tragedy. Uh, I don't think that she's on another planet. I think she's probably out of her mind at this point. She's probably in a padded cell and she's convinced herself that she's on another planet because nothing around her is making any sense. Um, yeah. I think that's probably what's happening. Um, but who knows? I might be wrong. I might be completely wrong. But as far as the game goes, I said this in another video. I'm not a I'm not a gamer that likes to play games for the sake of saying I finished something difficult. I'm more about the overall experience than the challenge. Not to say that I won't play challenging games. As you see, I played this one. This is a very challenging game, but it's not something that I strive to to do. I'm not an achievement hunter. I'm not one of those type of gamers. But this game is very hard, very difficult. It is a, a great experience though. I found myself constantly thinking about this game when I wasn't playing it, which is also a good sign to let me know that I'm playing a good game. Um, it's very addictive. It's one of the interesting things about this game is like I thought at some point I would get tired of playing the same levels over and over and over again, but I never re really hit that that brick wall to where I was just like ready to give up. Um, I thought I was probably going to need to give up, not because I didn't like playing it, but I thought I was going to give up because of the fact that I wasn't going to be able to finish some of the 
some of the game. Um, the Nemesis boss was very difficult. Uh, also, Biome 5 were those three rooms where you had to go through the challenge room. And there was also other rooms as well. Enemies seemed to be tanked. So that was very difficult. I thought maybe I wasn't going to be able to finish because of that. But I somehow was able to pull it off after multiple tries. Uh, I got I got to say that this game is surprisingly a really good, great game. It's a, it's a game that I can see a lot of people put down because of its difficulty. But if you don't take it as serious as, you know, as you would normally do, like if you don't, if you don't play this game, you gotta you gotta leave your ego at the at the door when you're playing this game. And in other words, you gotta just sit back and enjoy the game, enjoy the experience, um, explore the areas, and just treat it as an arcade or arcade game. You know, when you play games at an arcade, um, you never finish the game. You never finish Pac-Man. I mean, there's probably like one person on the planet. That's probably finished Pac-Man. You know, you don't look at it as a game that you need to defeat. defeat. It's a game that you experience, you know. If you treat it as that, you will definitely get more from the game than if you look at it as something that you need to conquer and, and prove to everybody that you can complete a game. Don't look at it as a challenge. You look at it as an experience. And I think you will get more from the game if you do it that way. But I definitely enjoy this game. If I gave it a rating out of 10, I definitely would probably give it like an 8. A few things that I would have wanted them to improve. One was uh, how you use the consumables. Like, the health is like crucial in this game. I felt like the health was so crucial that it needed its own button. Like, I, I didn't like the idea that I'm using the consumable for health. And it's the same button that I use for other stuff that is not as crucial. You know what I mean? Um, like there were moments when I'm fighting hordes of enemies and I just need to re-up on my health. But if I hit the button, if I don't have the health pack highlighted at the moment and panic, I might hit something that I wasn't intended to use. And that's definitely happened with one of the, you know, consumes, consumables that I used before. <clears throat> I ended up using, detaching all my parasites which I didn't want to do, but I did it because I was in a panic and I just needed to use health. It's like, you got a whole right bumper on the other side that they could have used for for health. I'm gonna just zoom past this and see what's, what's after this. Oh, we just go back to the ship, I guess. I birthed I'll destruction. I am destruction. For the cycle huh. to end, I must not just remember. Okay, so they want you to keep playing to find more meaning. All right, somebody, let me look at this. I think we looked at this before, but I don't remember exactly what it was. Oh, those are daily challenges. I remember now. Yeah, these are daily challenges that you can go through. Huh, okay. Alright, let me look over here. I'll let you guys see my stats. I had 130 deaths. Yes, I I died a lot in this game. Uh, and it took me two days. Two days and one hour and 17 minutes to defeat. So, like I said, this is not my type of game, but I gave it a shot. I completed it. I enjoyed it. Um, highly recommend. If I give it a rating, I will give it a rating of 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for this game. Um, definitely try it out. Figure it out for yourself. See if you like it. But uh, let's see what where we are. Are we on volume 4 or volume 1? Okay, yeah. It looks like volume 4. Because everything is still in ruins. Alright. Well, I'm going to end it here. Uh, comment. Subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like this game? Do you not like it? Did you try it? Did you beat it? How long did it take you to defeat the game? Did you die as many times as I did? Or better? I'm pretty sure you did better. Alright. Well, I will holler at you guys later.
Thanks for watching. Peace.